Yeah. It's that neurology anthem right here. The brachial plexus. Fundamental raps. Roots, trunks, division cords, and branch. That's brachial plexus. E5, the T1 spinal cord. That's brachial plexus. Nerve innervations to the upper limb. That's brachial plexus. We about to break it down, so let's begin. Now pay attention. Dorsal root is sensory, and ventral root is motor. From the muscles in your hands to the skin up on your shoulder. There's five terminal branches. I'ma list them off in order. Musculo auxiliary, radio median owner. I'ma tell y'all something about each section. Of the plexus. Yeah. We gon' start with the roots, then work our way down to the branches. Passes through the scalenes, the medial anterior. In Underneath the clavicle, that's also called inferior. Or Back to the roots, that's where it all begun. The root always sits above its vertebrae until T1. You know. Every root has a dermatone associated with it. That's the area of skin that the nerve has innovated. Mild tone. It's the same but with the muscles Here's a couple body movements To check if the nerve's in trouble C5 abduct the shoulder C6 you flex the elbow C7 you extend it Straight arm like an arrow C8 you make a fist T1 you spread them fingers Just remember when you do it Don't forget to use resistance The roots form trunks Names based on their position I was never good at math But I know trunks they form divisions Roots, trunks, division, cords and branch That's break your black C5, the T1 spinal cord. That's brachial plexus. Nerve innervations to the upper limb. That's brachial plexus. We about to break it down, so let's begin. Now pay attention. Dorsal root is sensory, and ventral root is motor. From the muscles in your hands to the skin up on your shoulder. There's five terminal branches. I'ma list them off in order. Musculo auxiliary, radio median owner. Brachial the roots plexus. make up three trunks, upper, middle, lower. Are you catching on to this, or should I flow? A little slower. Each trunk splits into two divisions. Front and back. Interior is flexors, posterior is extension. I'm referring to that neuromuscular innervation. Nerve and muscle. Moving on to cords, named according to relation to the axillary artery. The shoulder's the location. These three cords innervate a bunch of muscles. Here's the list of names. Lateral cord innervates the pec major. Medial cord innervates both pecs. Posterior cord is the subscapularis in the lat. So when you hit thoracal dorsal, you just think about the back. Now we on to them branches. Last part of the plexus. Proximal to distal, they travel in that direction. Five branches of terminal. I'ma list them off in order. Musculo auxiliary, radial median ulnar. Roots, trunks, division cords, and branch. That's brachial plexus. C5, the T1 spinal cord. That's brachial plexus. Nerve innervations to the upper limb. That's brachial plexus. We about to break it down, so let's begin. Now pay attention. Dorsal root is sensory, and ventral root is motor. From the muscles in your hands to the skin up on your shoulder. There's five terminal branches. I'ma list them off in order. Musculo auxiliary, radio median ulnar. Break your plexus. Ah. Uh.